Hello everyone and welcome back to Farm Center 22. We're back here on No Man's Land with Grover Game. As you can see we're in the month of July and right now I loaded up all the planks we have because they're at 2600 per thousand liters I think it was. Let's check here quick. Oh, that's furniture. So a little under 26 so I grabbed all the planks we had on one trailer and we're selling them all. And I also hooked up our round baler, because we're going to get rid of that today. I finally found a baler upgrade that I, I'm going to be satisfied with. And thankfully, with I decided to wait on putting up the, di the dairy yet. We're going to put that, we'll have to put that up next month for sure, along with the silos that we plan to use there. <coughs> Second here, so we're going to sell our old round baler finally. Maybe. Out ahead a little. Oh, that's right. This this has issues registering, so we'll just have to sell it in this menu here. So we're gonna sell that. We got two hours out of it, and we got quite a few bales out of it, if I remember right. We'll check here, see how many bales exactly we gotten out of it. Uh, we we made two hundred and two bales with that little round baler. Which is quite the feat. And the next baler we're going to be buying is a modded one I found. Uh, let's see here, balers. I was thinking about going for a big square baler. But there's nothing that I really want that kind of fits kind of the older style. And this, I was originally thinking about going for the crone here. But then there was someone who released a Premier model. And we're gonna go with the 605. Oh I'm trying to think. I think we're gonna go with the 605 M. Yeah. That way it's cheaper and we can save some money and it's it looks like it's got more of a more of an older look to it. We better put get a fire extinguisher with that, so. The 605 M Vermeer Brown Baylor is what we're gonna go with. <coughs> So we'll pick that up today, and then we'll ha we'll still have enough money yet to be able to uh, oh put up our dairy dairy yet, and because I think next month we'll have to look into chopping sil corn silage for it, because it'll be right in that right time frame. It'll be August September, so we'll be looking at chopping some corn silage. I think it will be next month that we'll be, we'll be looking into chopping some. Or maybe we'll wait till September. I haven't decided yet, but right now our sawmill is starting to get a little... A little low, per se, to say. Like, it's got 25,000 liters yet of lump timber to process. But that's, that's starting to get to the point where I'm starting to get a little concerned that we might have to go over there and... Chop a few trees down and get to work on that. And as you can tell as we're pulling in, our oats is already ready to go, so we'll have baling to do today, along with oats harvest. And I think what I'm going to do here is we're going to end up moving the big bales into the one of the old wooden sheds for now. Probably stack them next to the, oh, next to the round bales we got already. We're going to unhook the 7520 from the silage silage box over there and we're gonna hook it up to the wagons and I decided that since we didn't make quite as much money well I should let me rephrase that since that 7520 cost us a lot more than I was estimating we're gonna end up just selling the selling the all the oats right away just cuz it's not worth us hang, like messing with it oh I need a tractor to move that Chisel plow. I kind of forgot that our yard is still a pretty big mess. Everything's just kind of spread out everywhere. Go over here and grab the 7520. Move that chisel plow. So we're gonna go get that chisel plow move. We'll get the we'll get the combine out and we'll have to do some maintenance on that. I think. I think we're going to pull the 4020 out once we get the headlands all done and such. I think we'll hire someone to start harvesting for us. 
And we're going to end up raking up the wind rows so that way we don't have to trek, trek across the ground as much with the round baler. Let's back this back up in here. I don't have to get too carried away, I guess, because we'll have to move it again to... We'll have to move it again for... Oh, when we finally decide to clean up some of the equipment. Maybe that's what our goal will be next month is some... Well... Depends. You know what, maybe, maybe we'll wait till September to do, yeah, I think we'll wait till September to do our, our chop, corn silage chopping. And we'll do some, I, I've got to become an airhead right now. I need to hook up the gravity wagons. But we'll, we'll do some corn si silage chopping next month. And we'll, by that point, I think we'll, we'll probably have enough silage manufactured that we can start feeding into our BGA creating some power for us and making some extra income so that way we could finally pick up our gooseneck trailer for the cattle and have some money left over for when we get enough silage produced that we can start putting some cattle in the barn let's put pull this right up the hill here and the one thing we'll have to do too before we get too carried away Is that we'll have to turn that off. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? We'll have to do some maintenance on our on our combine here, because we haven't we kind of just put it away last season because we were we were pushing the if you remember, we were pushing the envelope to get the crops out in time, so. Oh uh, no, I don't want to put that there because it's just going to be in the way again. But we'll just... I think we'll just set this off in the grass for now. Yeah. And we'll go pick up the platform and we'll get... We'll get maintenance done on our platform and we'll get maintenance done on the combine here before we head out and start... Start combining our oats here. I have really got to become, I really have to clean off some of the equipment and take a little bit better care of it. So we'll back this, pull this in here quick. Can't remember, I think this barely fits in the shop. If not, I forgot, we do, we still do got our toolbox out by the shed over there that we can work on. We can work on it over there instead. So let's repair that. Let's repair the header. Well, a few hundred bucks it cost us to get this fixed up. And then we'll have to top it off with fuel here. <coughs> uh, let's see. Uh, I gotta enable the straw swath yet. Just a second here. Refill with that up. And enable straw swath. There we go. So we should be good there. Just gotta top off with fuel. We're down to less than a thousand liters of fuel in our barrel now, so we might want to think about. Might want to think about. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Getting that topped off as well. But right, that's kind. Of, right now, that's kind of the plan for this month. I kind of, kind of wish we had a little more income. A little more cash, I might set up the conveyors and start moving some silage over to the BGA later, but I think we might wait till next month to do that. Because I'm going to leave the blower over there for, na for now. Like I said, I kind of kind of just been leaving everything a giant mess right now and it's starting to bug me a little bit. Need to take a little bit of time to get everything put away and taken care of. We'll get, we'll get started here. We'll get, I think we'll do three outside passes, and then we'll hire someone to take over. Once we get far enough ahead of the curb here, and we're gonna start rake, we're gonna rake up all the, I'll rake up all the straw so that way it's like I said we don't have to make as many tracks across the field with the round baler when we start baling. So, 
We'll jump into the time lapse here, and we'll see you guys in a bit.
Well, everyone, I think this is where we're going to call it today. I was going to haul some more digestate out, but it looks like we don't have any more. I thought we had quite a bit more to haul yet, but it's not looking like it, unfortunately. I was going to cover this field and digest it, get it fertilized, but... Walking across it, it looks like it still has enough nitrogen, so it's not terrible. I suppose when we went across it with the applicator, we had quite a bit... We had a quite a bit extra put on this, but that's not a big deal. Um, so, I think... Next time we come back, I think we're going to have the barn put up. I wasn't thinking when I was applying the more nitrogen and lime in this grass field because they're actually going to put the barn over in this area over here so i don't i don't know why i brain i brain farted there and went, decided to go this way and apply get everything applied so but we're going to end up putting the barn right over here it's going to be the best place for it i i feel like and i brought the oliver over to get the bales moved but we're probably going to let those bales sit out there for now because i'm hoping Oh, I'm hoping that we can make enough money to put up that storage barn that I want for our, for our hay and for our hay and gr straw bales. So I I think I'm gonna leave those bales just sit out in the field for now. I think when we come back next month, we'll probably take some time to put some of our stuff away. I just this yard is just becoming a mess. Thankfully, the yard's big enough for me to leave literally everything out. I'm worse than a little kid with their own toys right now with everything everything just spread out everywhere. Got the sprayer sitting out, just auger still set up. This everything's everywhere. And I I like I said I maybe next month we'll look into doing silage in that way September if we got some extra if we got a if we can get an extra crop of hay or grass mode, we can do that, but I am very happy with this round baler purchase. I mean, we're, we cut our bale, like how many bales we're making by a lot. I don't even know how many bales we made this session. Let's take a peek here. We only made nine round bales. And I feel like it would have been in the 20s, if not a little more, if, if we didn't didn't do it the way we did. We're going to turn that off for now since we got nothing else going in there. But yeah, I think I'm, like I said, I'm very happy with this baler so far. There's another piece of equipment that I want to invest that'll make moving bales a little bit easier, but that's just not in the works right now, and I'd rather get that bale storage barn up first before we start thinking about that, but we're going to end the episode here today. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you're enjoying the content, please subscribe so you can stay up to date to the latest series. Above all else, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day. And most of all, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.